Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make Blackboard test pools. So you start by logging into your Blackboard system. In this case, it's Delaware Techs, which is my.dtcc.edu. And I've already input my username and password. So then we go to courses. And you can see I have a number of courses listed. The one I'm going to go to is the Student Sandbox course. And then we're going to go to, we're going to go to Course Tools. So if it's not already dropped down, click Course Tools, and then go to Tests, Surveys, and Pools. From there, click on Pools. You can see I already have a couple, but I'll show you how to create another one. So you're always going to go to Build Pool to build a new pool. And let's just say I'm creating a pool for chapter 55. So we can put a short description. So I'm just going to say this pool will act as a demonstration. So what's nice about test pools is that you can create the pools and then you can create tests that draw from the pools, either randomly or you can draw all the questions from the pools. So it's really helpful for different topics or different sections of the course to create pools. So let's go ahead and create a question. For this exercise, I'm just going to create a multiple choice question. So let's go ahead and down to multiple choice. And we can just put whatever multiple choice question we want. Um, so I don't know, let's just say what animal is the biggest? So let's just do a mouse, a bear, a deer, and an elephant. So obviously answer number four is going to be correct, so we click this correct box. You can see how you can choose that. There's also other things you can do. You can um, do a bunch of other options, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. So then if we click submit at the end, it'll go ahead and, it'll go ahead and uh, show us our question. We can also preview our question by clicking at the details button here. So we can see what animal is the biggest. It'll even show us what the correct answer is to make sure we input that correct answer correctly. So we can also create a question and do the same thing over again. Or maybe if we wanted to copy this question, we could do, maybe we wanted to make what animal is the smallest. We can see it's a copy of, so we'll get rid of that. And then we can just change the correct answer to mouse. So then you can see our pool starting to be populated. So that's how to create a pool in Blackboard. Thanks for watching.